Yeah, have a cold one. Oh, dude, how do you know I love a nice cold beer when I've been hard at work? Oh, it's fantastic. Glug, glug, glug. No, I'm not going to drink it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Tomorrow it's going to be a beautiful sunny day, of course. Okay, somewhat annoyed today. Uh, sounds a bit like me living off the land. Uh, fruit trees, they take an entire season to grow, so plan ahead. If the area directly surrounding your new tree isn't clear, it will interfere with the growth. Once your fruit tree is mature, it will listen for the food area. Yeah, so, basically saying what I said the other day. Ooh, this is good. We don't have to water strawberries anymore. Fantastic. So an article about you in the local paper. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, mom. Didn't give me a gift, though, did you? Um, yeah. Uh, our last day plucking strawberries here. Well, uh, from these 50, anyway, which is going to be great. Uh, excuse me, pick those. Also, our blue jazz are ready as well. Um, I only really planted those for profit. I didn't plant them for gifts, because I don't think anyone, like, love, loves them. Uh, but in terms of, like, uh, crops here, we don't have to water 50 strawberries anymore, because we are four days, including today, away from spring. So these 50 strawberries will never, um, will never produce fruit again. Uh, I was actually going to destroy some st strawberries. Oh, I can't. I think... Oh, okay. I, th I thought I needed my pickaxe for some reason. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So yeah, up to here. So I'm, I'm going to keep these ones still because you can clear them out a lot easier if you use... Um, if you use the scythe when they're dead but if you use the scythe now they won't do anything our blue jazz are also ready like i said our cauliflower are not also i don't know if you can tell <clears throat> but i've got a little bit of a, a bug sickness bug coming on so uh, i might sound a little bit gross in this episode uh but hopefully like basically i'm trying to get a little bit ahead because i could feel this sickness coming on so hopefully fingers crossed i can get ahead get ill get over my illness and then resume content again so that's my plan anyway gonna water these crops and think about what i want to do today all right no point watering the strawberries that will never uh produce fruit again so that is fine obviously these 20 still have one more harvest left so uh like i said blue jazz i just grew those for profit <clears throat> let's get rid of those uh these ones uh these strawberries anyway i'm gonna keep and I'm going to keep these uh, 22 as well. I'm not going to sell those straight away. We'll get a little bit of money from the Blue Jazz. I want to take some uh, some copper with me. Because um, I know what I want to do to... Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I do. If I can smelt some real quick. Let's quickly do that. Uh, so when we come around to summer, I'm going to sort of rearrange my farm a little bit. And in order to do that, um, I'm going to need to hoe out some new land. Um, so... The plan is to upgrade my hoe before the new season starts. Uh, watering can is not going to be like as important. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, the watering can isn't going to be as important because um, I'm going to hopefully set up some sprinklers. Uh, but they're still going to be reasonably important. So, come on, furnaces, give me my dang copper bars. Thank you very much. Copper doesn't take like hardly any time, so that's fine. Oh, bit of a bit of lag spike there. We will take some uh, copper or uh, some co copper bars with us. Jeez, learn to speak, Dale. And before we go, I'm going to refine some more quartz because I believe that all of that farming may have taken us to level six. Let's take a look here. Skills farming level six, fantastic. That is great news. Okay, so get rid of those we need everything else with us let's go grab our pickaxe because i feel like today is going to be a mining day um in order to create oh you know what i'm gonna have this leak and i'm gonna eat it i'm not even gonna give it to george i was gonna eat the leak yeah um in order to uh get the sprinklers that i want for summer i'm gonna need gold which means i've got to get further down into the mines that steel pickaxe is definitely gonna help us but I'm also going to give you my hoe. Okay, so there goes all my money. Cash dollar. Anything in here? Nothing. Nada. Squat. Alright, let's not go to the bus stop, thank you very much. Let's go to the mines. And let's see how far we can get down uh, in a single day. I'm hoping level 70. Let's aim for level 70. 
a frozen tear straight away. That's helpful. And you know what? Because I'm just going for floor, I'm just going to head for the uh, exits if I see them. Area is infested, so we've got a combat floor here. This is going to be... Oh, crystal fruit. We need one of those for the community center. Frozen tear, whatever. Slimes are actually a pretty good source of... Uh, of some rare materials sometimes, especially later on in the game. Ooh, we got a dwarf scroll as well. That's fantastic news for Gunther. Nothing over there. These these are um, infested floors. They're not the greatest, but I actually kind of like them. Um, once you you know you you know exactly where the uh, the the staircase is going to be because it'll be wherever the last monster is. Um, and you know that you can sometimes get some cool materials. So the frozen fruit there. Ooh, look at that. Wow, we're already at floor 64. Yeah, the float, the frozen fruit, sorry. Oh, wow, I mean, look at this. Get away, bat. The frozen fruit. We need one of those, so that's great. Already at floor 65. I'm still going to hold true to my original estimate of floor 70, or original goal. If I can get to floor 75, fantastic. But if I can't, I wouldn't be surprised. Basically, we need a lot of gold um, to make the next level of sprinklers which we should unlock when we go to sleep tonight. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and today was a bad luck day? Oh, wow, we've even got some copper down here. That's kind of cool. But yeah, look at how nice this iron pickaxe, or the, sorry, the steel pickaxe is. It's a bit weird that they call it a, a steel one when it's made out of iron. But, hang on, correct me if I'm wrong. Is, yeah, steel made of iron? Ooh, these little stones here. Hold. Oh, jade. Okay, I was thinking of something completely different. Wow, that guy jumped really high. I'm just gonna just gonna make a run for the stairs here. Ah, uh, yeah, that guy jumped really high as well. We're making so much progress in the mine today. Like I said, for a uh, an annoyed luck day, that's that's pretty good. I wonder why we're doing so well. Don't question it. Just just relish in in the uh, rewards we get. You know what, slime? Ow! You're murdered. Okay. We also need to start thinking potentially about upgrading our backpack again soon. Uh, it's not going to be the end of the world if we don't, but it's something that we will need to do eventually. Uh, it costs 10,000 to unlock the next 12 slots and the final 12 slots, so we know we wouldn't have to do it again. Um, another thing we need to look at is potentially buying a new sword, because now that we're a bit further down in the mines, the, it, the Neptune's Glaive isn't as great, because obviously the enemies are getting a little bit stronger. Uh, it's still serving us quite well, especially if we can just, like, avoid combat entirely. But other than that, like, yeah, I think that getting a new weapon might not be a bad idea. Uh, we got a winter root. I believe I've already handed one of those in. Um, pantry? No, it'll be the crafts room. Yeah, winter foraging. Yeah, so the crystal fruit can go there. Uh, I think if you, if you hoe... The ground in this area you can get the the winter or the snow yam sorry the snow yam I think it's the last one um, which we can't get until actually whoops we which we can't actually get until winter which is the crocus I believe that's what it is maybe you can maybe I'll take a look at that but as far as I'm aware you can't complete the pantry bundle or the yeah the pantry bundle until winter anyway so Unless, um, unless you buy the crocus from the traveling merchant or the gypsy wagon. Okay, kill the slime. I'm noticing my health is getting a little low, so I'm gonna be careful of that. These guys are all just gonna swarm me. Come get me. Come get me. Ow. Oh, no, you see, I would go for that, but I really want the, uh, uh oh, ow. I really want the, uh, the frozen tear over there, because it's a great gift for Sebastian. Oh, look, another... Staircase. Yeah, I'm really surprised that we apparently got bad luck today. <laughs> I'd say we got great luck. I mean, we're not really getting much materials, and we're not going to get much money unless we sell good stuff from uh, from what we farmed. But yeah, this is not a bad trip whatsoever. 4:30 uh, p.m. Ooh, was there someone's birthday today? 25th Thursday. I didn't check to see if it was. Okay. Uh. I guess I should get out when I hit floor 70, just because that was my goal. I could probably, you know, if I wanted to, I could go to uh, 75 easily with the rate, w uh, the progress we're making, but I think I'm going to try and be smart about it and call it quits. Uh, plus, you know, if the less salmon, bar salmon berries, sorry, I eat the better. Whoa, holy frozen geodes, that was a lot. Oof. 
Got some jade there as well. That was a lot of frozen geodes. Okay, let's get this slime because it might have the staircase. Oh, he's angry. Look at his red eyes. There's a bat coming. Let's murder him. No staircase from either of those. Maybe this is the floor where I don't find the staircase until like the very, very end. And it takes me all day to do it. Who knows? Nobody knows. Um, I'm actually kind of worried <laughs> that that's the case. Okay. Uh, but needless to say, I have until the first of summer. Actually, ideally, you know what? I would like to get some sprinklers before summer begins. Uh, any rocks up here? Right by the stairs that I missed. Two, but no staircase. Yeah, ideally, I'd like to get the sprinklers before the last day of summer. Ah, or the last day of spring. I think this is just another crap slingshot. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Uh, we picked it up. We can at least sell this to uh, the Adventurers Guild since we're right there. Let's actually do that. Plus, you never know. We might have uh, we might have unlocked some rewards from Jill or Gil or whatever his name is. Probably Gil. Um, it's too late to go and donate anything to the museum, so we'll ignore that. He's back. Yes, I'm alive. How'd you like me? Um, oh, okay. So we can sell the magnet ring, but we can't get rid of the slingshot. You'd know. <laughs> Um, I am actually going to walk back. I'm not going to take the minecart because I want to see if it's anyone's birthday today. Because I've got a feeling it might be. 25th of spring. Definitely rings bells. Is it Sebastian's birthday? I have a frozen tear. I already love this. How'd you know? Eh, that's a good guess. There's Bunny Rabbit. Robin. Demetrius, I don't have any gifts for you. It might even be Demetrius's birthday. Ooh. In which case, I need to give him a strawberry. I don't think I'll have time to, if his house shuts at 8. Why am I going here? <laughs> I don't need to go here. I need to go to... Um, I need to go to... Yeah, Pierre's. Oh my goodness. Um, one anchovy. Twice the market value. I'll say yes, but I probably don't have time. Okay, it's no one's birthday. It is, however, Pierre's birthday tomorrow. Um, Pierre is pretty difficult to buy or to, to gift for. He doesn't, like, his only light gift, other than the universal things, like Rabbit's Foot and Prismatic Shard, the only thing he really likes is, I think, sp like, Spicy Calamari, is it called? And that's a pretty difficult recipe to obtain, so I'm not going to focus on getting, like, something like that sorted out. Um, Jade, yes. Frozen Tear, yes. Uh, the Completion Chest, down here. We need to add in Crystal Fruit, uh, not the Snow Yam. I think it's just the crystal fruit, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so artifacts and other stuff to donate. That can go in. Frozen geodes I will keep on me. Uh, Aquamarine is a good gift for Emily and Clint. We got a little bit of gold ore from there. The winter root we can sell. Okay, so let's see. What can we get rid of? Uh, let's get rid of the winter root. The cave carrots. And everything else, I guess, can go in this chest here as per the norm, including this crummy slingshot. I can't believe I actually picked that up. Okay, uh, what else can we do with all this stuff? Or what else can we do with our time today? We've got a decent amount of energy. Um, what I could do is I can chop down some wood, I guess. We need to do that eventually, so let's go wood chopping. And I think I'm actually going to do it in the, uh, the Cinder Sap Forest. Just because uh, there's pine trees there, they regrow, we might get some acorns, which... Uh, not some acorns, some pine cones, which we found out last episode. Um, we've got a lot of seeds other than acorns, or pine cones. So... Oh, we got a heart event! Oh, cool! This was Shane. Ugh, up late, huh? Yeah, have a cold one. Oh, dude, how do you know? I love a nice cold beer when I've been hard at work. Oh, it's fantastic. It's just Glug, glug, glug. No, I'm not going to drink it. Buh. Life. Oh, this music. You ever feel like, no matter what you do, you're going to fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the lights of day. Oh wow, this got deep. I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Oh, wow, I feel... <laughs> Fast drinker, huh? Man after my own heart. Just don't make it a habit. you got a future ahead of you still. Ah, oh, dude, you do too. Just don't say... Don't think like that, man. Well, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call it a night. See you around, Dazza. 
Oh, okay. See you later, Shane. Okay. Huh. Bit of a backstory there to show. Oh, we got Tipsy. Uh, what does Tipsy actually do? Minus one speed for 30 seconds. I can live with that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to chop some wood and see how things go. I'm also going to chop the stump down as well because I've got a feeling that... Uh, that will the trees won't regrow unless we do that. So I'm gonna collect some wood and I will see you guys back at the farm All right, so with a little bit of wood under our belt We can head back to the farm and something that I never actually showed you guys that we can now do because of our fantastic new Fully featured copper axe here is that we can remove Ooh, I can't get through that way wait which way did I It's through there <laughs> um yeah, with our brand new axe, there are these big tree stumps, which we can now chop down. I think they take like seven hits with the copper axe. And from them, we get some hardwood. Yes. I think we've actually got just enough energy to take out one more of these stumps. Six and seven leaves us with two energy. Yeah, hardwood is pretty slow to obtain unless you have the, the foraging farm layout. Uh, so definitely collect as much of this as you can while you can. I think I got lucky and I've got 11 because I've got some from the, uh, um, from, oh, we've got loads of pine cone seeds. Oh, it's acorns that we're missing? Oh, it's acorns that we're missing. Ha, huh, my bad. Yeah, I got, I got quite a bit from break, breaking open those, uh, things you can get in the, the mines. Anyway, pet the dog. I think we've done everything today, so let's go to sleep. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. We should have leveled up farming. Yes. Okay, so we now have... Plus one watering can and hoe proficiency. We can now make hardwood fence. Uh, we can make a cheese press and we can make quality sprinklers. Oh, it's fantastic. We've got level four mining as well, so we can now transmute iron, which is pretty cool. Hardly any money from the blue jazz there. Wasn't really expecting a massive payout, but hey ho. It will tide us over until summer, at least, and then we can spend all of our lovely gold on getting summer seeds. Oh, I can't wait until the new season starts. However, we have a big job ahead of us because we do need gold quite desperately. Gold, gold. Okay, so let's take a look at the weather, even though it doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be clear and sunny all day. That's what I thought. Uh, luck. Oh, spirits in good humor. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, no strawberries to pick just yet. I think we'll get them on the last day. Although it looks like our cauliflower is ready. Oh, it is. Yes, bonus. Oh, we need to keep one of these. Who needs a cauliflower? Jody? She does. Okay, and... Oh, Penny wants an anchovy. I don't think I'm going to manage to do that, so... I'll just ignore the fact that that exists. Alright, as usual, uh, let's water the crops and get this over and done with for today. So luckily, the good thing about Pierre is the fact that he, he likes daffodils and dandelions. He doesn't love them, but they're a light gift, so I could give him... I mean, the best thing I've got here is a, a Silver Star Daffodil, which I guess is going to have to do. As for my plan for the rest of the day, honestly thinking I'm just going to head back to the mines. Um, we've got a lot of iron we can smelt down, which might not be a bad idea to get started before we go here. Um, so basically the idea is before summer starts, I want to make as much of these quality sprinklers as I can. They need one iron bar, one gold bar, and one refined quartz per sprinkler. Which isn't too difficult to do. In fact, we've got enough gold there for another gold bar, so we have enough stuff for two sprinklers, which isn't bad. Um, uh, what do I want to do for the rest of the day? Oh, that topaz can go in the gifting chest. Um... Okay, so Pierre is pretty easy to find because he's always going to be at the store. Um, so I think I might do that. And then, you know what? I'm also going to take a leek and a tulip. And you know what? I'm Yeah, I'm going to do a tiny bit of gifting today. Um, and if I don't gift anyone... Uh, ooh, 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 oak resin's there. Just got to remember the gypsy wagon as well. Uh, I'm just going to walk into town. It's probably the quickest thing to do. And just gift everyone within the immediate area. Um... But most importantly, got to give this daffodil to Pierre. Could have given him a dandelion, I guess. Oh, there's another quest on the board. So this one's easy. Uh, I need a sunfish. Keep it a secret. Nah, it's his birthday. Be nice. Hey, Pierre. Happy birthday. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. So it's not his favorite, but he still likes it. 
so he can have it. <laughs> okay, let's head north to Rob. Oh, no, no, no. Since we're right here, Alex is over there. Man, I haven't even started on gifting anything to Alex. Uh, Evelyn, here, have a tulip. I know you like them. This is absolutely marvelous. I know. George, here. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, Jody. Let's go and do Jody next. I've got all these cauliflowers on us. I don't think it's worth giving her a gold star one. Actually, a cauliflower, I think, is one of her preferred gifts. So I'm going to try that. Oop, no. I'm going to try that after I give her a normal one. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. There she is. Hi. I have a cauliflower. Oh, that looks so delicious. Thank you. That's just what I wanted. It's going to be perfect for my yellow curry. And thank you. This makes my day really special. So she doesn't love it because the love heart didn't show up. Um, but hang on, did that even use one? I don't think it did. Oh well. Um, right, I think next on the list is to, to throw the rest of these in the uh, mine, or in the, the shipping chest. And did I pick up the oak resin? I did. I'll uh, put that away, keep the strawberries on me. Then I'll fast travel to the mines, then walk to um, Maru and to uh, Demetrius and get them sorted out. Next up though, I want to take uh, enough stuff here to smelt. Do I just do quartz? I'm just going to do quartz. Is that enough? It's 12. Yeah, that's too, too many. Okay. Like that. Wait, did I? Oh, you only need one quartz. Interesting. Didn't realize that. One quartz make one, um, makes one quartz uh, refined quartz. Makes one quartz refined quartz. Yes, in exactly, Dale. Just just marvelous speech work there. Did I put my salmon berries away? I did. 350 gold there. Fantastic. All right, let's head to the mines. Just the fast travel here. And the fact that I put my stuff away could be bad. Linus. Oh, no, I was then going to go get like a leak or something for you, but you'll be fine. We're actually pretty good with Linus at the moment. Let's hope that Demetrius and Maru are here. Oh, look, they're both in the kitchen. That's handy. They both like strawberries. Is that... Oh, wow, Dad, this is spectacular. You guys are welcome. Aren't I just, like, the best new villager? I'm not even a new villager anymore. I've been here for, like, four weeks. You know what? Just because I see it there and I know where Linus is, he can have this normal quality leak. Or should I eat it and replenish my energy? No, I think I'll be fine. So, wait, where's Linus? There he is. Yeah, <laughs> I knew he was by the river somewhere. Great gift. You are welcome, my friend. Okay, time to have another spectacular day in the mines with no food. So this could come back to bite me in the butt. However, I'm feeling very confident. Let's do it. These floors are a little bit different. They've got skeletons in them. These monsters are a little bit more, like, they take a lot more damage to, to kill, but should be fine. Um, they also attack, they have ranged attacks, which could be bad, but... Again, we shall uh, deal with them the way we normally deal with them, by smacking them with our sword until they fall to pieces. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Look, he, he threw his bone there. He's trying to, like, get into a corner, which is a bit weird. They really do take a lot of damage to a kill. Getting lots of jade. Well, we got one, but I mean, we've got lots of jade in total, which is great. Cave carrots, they're going to help. I'm glad we got them. Like, look at that guy. He's throwing a sword at me, a uh, bone at me straight away. Yeah, they take a lot to take out, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we definitely need to look at upgrading our sword soon. All right, let's see if I can get anything interesting today. You know what? Hit the elevator. It's floor 75. Still quite early. I think I need to remember to go to see the Gypsy Wagon. Then get too much stuff from there, which is sort of meh. Um, but it was quick, at least, which is good. Uh, so let's go see what the Gypsy Wagon has to offer for today. Hopefully something worthwhile, because I left the mines for this. Um... Pretty much diddly squat. Not that I can afford anything anyway. 
The only thing really worthwhile is the puffer fish, but we can catch that in summer anyway. So, trip wasted. Oh, hey, we do get a blackberry and a salmon berry here in the fruit bat cave, though. That's, you know, blackberry we can at least hand into some type of foraging bundle, I think. Maybe fall. Okay, time to get some stuff smelting. Let's actually do a little bit of gifting here, since most people seem to gather in the saloon um, on a uh, on a Friday evening. It's quite easy to give everyone a gift, especially ones that they like. Hey, Emily, have a topaz. You're welcome. Sorry, Gus, I don't really have anything for you. I'm afraid, my man. Uh, Clint, however, you can have a... Oh, that's Pierre. Oh, yeah, Clint normally stands here. I wonder why Clint isn't here. Uh, however, Abigail, I do bring, I, I do bring you, I did bring you an amethyst, and Sebastian, have another frozen tear. Um, I wonder if I can give anyone, hmm, no. Uh, and I did bring some stuff as well to hand into the, uh, the community center. There's a couple bits and bobs, however, it saves me having to remember it again. Yeah, I thought it was the same one, but never mind. Um. Yeah, just the, the crystal fruit and the blackberry here, and I think I might even attempt to go back into the mines and see how uh, how profitable that could be. Considering I can fast travel back to the bus stop, might be worthwhile doing. Don't want to eat it. Don't want to eat it. I want to hand it in. Winter foraging. Have that. And I think, was I right? Fall? Yeah, the blackberries are full. Lovely. All right, so let's head to the mines and see if I can't make it another uh, 10 levels and get to level 80. Not 10 levels, 5 levels. And I just realized with such low energy, this was probably uh, not a good idea. <laughs> Still, uh, what is, what's the saying? Um, oh, live in something, die in vain. I can't remember. Oh, look at that. First floor. Not much longer to go. Yeah, as long as I can get to floor 80... So we can start getting some some gold. That'd be fantastic. That's really all I need to do. Wow. <laughs> That's really all I need to do in order to start mass producing these sprinklers. Because we've got plenty of iron. Plenty of quartz we just need to smelt down. In fact, I might start up like a, a bigger area for smelting. In fact, soon the only limit we're going to have is the number or the amount of coal. Uh, but we can just farm some dust sprites levels. Um, to get more. Wow, we got some refined quartz from that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we can just farm some dust sprite levels. Oh, pickaxe. I see it. Oh, not pickaxe. Staircase. Two floors to go. Ooh, that's a diamond. Ooh, but I'm very low on energy. <laughs> uh, nine energy. Oh, are we really going to get this far and then not win? Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm going to hope that one of the enemies potentially drops the staircase because that would be like the most ideal thing at this point I can't believe I didn't like there was stuff outside the um, the 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 mines where I could have just got like some quick food because these guys don't drop food this guy might drop a ghost fish but that's about it oh it doesn't seem like I'm in luck oh man I'm just gonna have to is there anything I can eat at all no I really, I really screwed the pooch here. We've got like two more stone breaks. And that's it. Ah, oh, dang it. That's, that's annoying me. Oh, this bat though. <laughs> I hear a bat. Come at me, bat. Please drop the staircase. No. No luck. Ah. Oh. Well, you know, we had a good run. You know, it was decent. Not an overly shabby day. Well, look at that. The day's pretty much over anyway. So, with two days left of spring... Uh, we've got no more harvest left on our green beans. We've got a little bit more to harvest in terms of uh, strawberries, which I believe will harvest... To, no, the day after tomorrow is the last day of spring. We can harvest those. But yeah, um, decent amount of progress today, I guess. Uh, we did a lot of mining, which is always good. Do I really not have any room... Oh, okay. Well, they can go into the gifting chest, I guess. Diamonds are a good gift for people. A lot of people like diamonds. Got a lot of stuff we need to turn into Gunther as well. Um, any, well, We haven't got enough gold ore, so that sucks. We've got plenty of iron, though. We need to start smelting this. Right, so... I can't believe I didn't take any food with me. That was just that was just dumb. Considering I've still got salmon berries here. I can't believe I didn't do that. We need to look for some more acorns as well. Right, I think probably best to call it quits there, don't you think? 
Pet the dog? No. Pet the dog? No, I can't. I've already done it today. So, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. I don't think I turned anything in today, did I? Oh, I did, apparently. Oh, yeah. Duh. We had, like, cauliflowers in there. That's a good chunk. I mean, wow, actually, yeah, four cot. Yeah, that's very nice. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Yada, yada, yada. Bye-bye.